So this is officially the empty house for Style Mom XO. So just to give you guys like a little brief before we get into it, when we walked through this house, this house had great bones. This house had a lot of things that we have always been looking for in a home. So there's a lot of things that we do need to do to turn it to our style, but we are up for the challenge. We've always wanted to renovate a home and basically turn it into what we've always wanted. So we saw that potential in this property, so that is the reason why we went with it. So as you come in through the front door, it is like this really beautiful, grand, dark brown entry, if you will, with the chandelier. My husband kind of likes it. I prefer we don't. I want to switch it out. We don't know if we're going to keep the door this color or kind of put it to like a grayish scene. I don't know. We're undecided on a lot of stuff, so we're just trying to figure stuff out. So if you come in through the entry, we come into, are you guys ready for this one? You ready? We have a tiki bar inside the house. Now, normally tiki bars are outside in the backyard, but we have one inside the house. How lucky are we? So we're gonna go ahead and remove the tiki. Um, we have, do want to do a bar inside the house, so it's great that there is a bar already here. But we're just going to try and modernize it a little bit more. So, unfortunately, Tiki's got to go. It's cool and all. We might keep it for the New Year. But the Tiki Park's going to go. They have like these cool kind of light shelving. You can kind of see the lights over here. But we're going to put some other stuff and put refrigerator and everything like that. They have this cute little sink over here. So that's perfect that it's hooked up for the water and everything, but obviously not our style, so we'll end up switching that out. But yeah, so we have a little tiki bar section over here, so we're gonna try and redo the flooring, which we'll get into that. Set this up as like a cool like little seating lounge area. And we can do drinks. So, when you come onto the other side, this is the dining room. So we need to get a dining room table, we don't have one. But we have this lovely, kind of reddish, adobe-ish tile, which is great, but not our style. So we're actually gonna be getting a quote to do all the flooring, um, engineering hardwoods, if you guys have to see my video on us kind of shopping around for that, I'll link it down below. But pretty much this is just gonna be new flooring, repaint. Um, I want to eventually get rid of this and just put it back down to the regular wall kind of texture and paint it. So that's the game plan for all the stacked stone. So when we come around this section, this is the family room. One of the things that I wanted in this house was a fireplace. We had one in our last California house that we had. So the bones are here, like I said. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the insert. I want to remove all the stack stone, put up a different mantle, uh, maybe put some marble around, and then just paint the rest of it. So as you can see, some of the stack stone is missing where the TV goes. So we're gonna go ahead and just fix all that up. And once again, the flooring will go throughout the entire house so it will flow. The one thing that we loved about this house was the ceilings. We have always wanted ceilings like this, so we're kind of undecided whether we keep it white or we paint the inside of the squares like a really light gray to kind of make them pop a little bit more. There are speakers built in. We kind of have to figure all that out. But this house just really needs a really good paint and new flooring. So that's what we're going to do. And then you get into the kitchen area. And this is where our kitchen table will obviously go. The cabinets are good for right now. We're still undecided whether we want to darken them so they're almost like a black but it's dark, 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 dark brown, like ebony, um, or if we want to go gray. So we're undecided. 
The granite's good for right now. We'll end up replacing it down the road, but that's not a main priority. See how it's still in really good condition. Um, maybe after tax season, we'll replace the appliances, but everything is in really good condition. So we'll end up replacing you know, the sink, getting a new faucet and stuff. So there's just little things that we need to do here. But once again, the flooring will go ahead and run throughout. One of the other things that we absolutely loved about this house and one thing that we've always wanted was a butler's pantry. A butler's pantry is pretty much like a walkthrough section over to the dining room. So we have all this extra cabinets and everything for here. So this is where I plan on putting a little hot cocoa station for like Christmas and New Year's. And if the kids parties, we can do like a candy station here. It's just really cool in the fact that we have like all these cabinets and everything to fill up. So that's awesome. Then on this side, this is like a little mini pantry, which I love. So what we're gonna plan on doing here is putting all the kids' cups, their plates, um, their lunch snacks, their snacks, their lunch pills, everything like that. So this is gonna kind of be the kids' pantry. And then on the other side of the wall, that's where the dining room is. Now, this is a two-story house. So, one thing that is really cool that this particular builder did was he took the under stairs storage and turned it into the pantry. So it's a huge walk-in pantry. And so we are gonna have, uh, my brother-in-law does painting and everything, so we're gonna have him come in and respray it all so it all looks brand new. And then we're gonna end up adding some racks on the other side, but this is great for like food storage and everything like that. So we are really, really excited to have this huge pantry. So, and then one of the other things too that I wanna do is, um, this is like see-through glass right now, which I don't mind, but I'd rather have it all completely frosted. So we'll bring somebody in to see how much it is to go ahead and frost it, just so you're not seeing all the junk and mess and everything that's inside there, so. Now are you guys ready for my patron filming room? So this is gonna be my future filming room. We're gonna go ahead and put carpet down so that it doesn't echo or anything like that. And then I'm probably gonna put my sofa. I'm not sure exactly what wall I'm gonna put my sofa. But I'm gonna do a sofa with maybe some like cool shelving on the side and then maybe put my desk over here with my computer or the, um, it can go in the other corner. But the whole idea is I want different filming sections. So I'm gonna have my sofa, I'll have my computer that I can film at as well as the background. And then I also want a like round kind of small cafe uh, kitchen table. So then I can do like my makeup or like other types of videos as well over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and piece this together. So I have like three or four different filming areas and my lights can stay up if I need to, to go ahead and put my lights up and everything. So this is the future style Momexo headquarters right here. <laughs> And so we are gonna go ahead and completely replace all of this um, and just get new cabinets and new countertop and everything, a new mirror, new lights. Um, I think we're gonna keep this for right now, but then we'll go ahead and do tile flooring in here and just try and clean it up a little bit, a good paint job and everything will do good, so. That's a game plan for in here, just something real simple, but clean, modern, how we are, so. Okay guys, so we're gonna go upstairs. So as far as the stairs go, I think we're gonna do the engineering hardwoods all the way up, but we're gonna have like the white as the back and then the actual wood as the stair kind of look going up. So I don't know if we're gonna have my brother-in-law repaint this or maybe stain it the same color as the flooring. So we're kind of undecided about that. All the walls in the entire house will get repainted. So let's go upstairs. So as you come up the stairs, the kids' bedrooms are right off the top of the stairs here. So this is gonna be my son's room. 
since he pretty much stays contained inside his room when it comes to his toys and stuff like that, we gave him the bigger room because my daughter has her art desk and she has just more stuff spread out. So this is my son's room, which is a really good size, especially for his bedroom. So we're really happy about that. We're gonna end up taking this fan down, putting up his fan. I think we might go ahead and remove those wooden blinds and just put some drapes up for him. His bedroom does have a walk-in closet, which is awesome. We started bringing stuff over and storing stuff over here so far, but, so they did like a little built-in. Um, when, when they did the built-in and they removed the previous closet storage kind of stuff that they had here, they didn't patch up our paint. Um, so obviously we will go ahead and fix that. But he has some room in here, so all this will get repainted. We'll do all new carpet um, from the flooring video that we did that will be linked down below. We kind of showed some of the carpet options that we had liked. So one of the things that we liked about this particular house is the kids have a Jack and Jill bathroom, which is a bathroom that they both can go ahead and enter the bathroom from their bedrooms. So this is their bathroom. We will redo the flooring in here repaint, um, bring in my brother-in-law to go ahead and redo the cabinets and then we'll get a new countertop sinks and a new lighting for them. Um, their tub right now is in okay condition, pretty good condition actually. So I don't think we're going to go ahead and touch that, um, but you can come on in and see the other bathroom part of it. It's not a big bathroom, but it will do just fine and we'll get new toilet seats for the toilet and stuff and maybe when we redo the flooring we'll just end up getting new toilets for the entire house but and then this will be Nevaeh's room so it is a lot smaller she doesn't have a walk-in closet but she uses a lot a lot of the playroom kind of office area at our last house were her toys so there is a loft area here so we kind of plan to kind of do the same thing here as we did in the other house. That's the reason why she does have a smaller bedroom. We are planning on maybe in another year or so getting rid of her Hello Kitty bedroom set and getting her like a cute like little day bed, just an older girl's bedroom. So we'll go ahead and put the pictures, everything the same how it was inside the last house. All new carpet, new paint, put up her fan, get rid of the wooden blinds. So this will pretty much be an all new, brand new room for her. We have a really good size linen closet. So all this will get resprayed and repainted so it'll look completely brand new, but everything will stay as is. Then we have the laundry room. Again, just paint job, new flooring. Um, I think we'll go ahead and have my brother-in-law take these down and maybe paint these gray or something. And then there is a cute little sink over here. So we'll go ahead and replace the sink and the countertop. They do have a little um, a bar here to go ahead and hang your hangers and stuff, which is cute. I love that. So this is the laundry room. It's a lot smaller than our last one, but it's a laundry room. It'll do. It has both a washer and dryer. That's exactly what we need. Here's like an overview over the tiki bar area. We have a lovely toothbrush that was donated by the previous family. They did have kids, so I'm sure the kids had chucked it right on over. <laughs> and so the game plan is for all the bedrooms to have new carpet. This hallway section will have the wooden floors that will carry up from the stairs. And then the loft area, we were undecided wooden floors or carpet, but I think we're gonna go carpet in here. So this is a loft. It's a really good sized loft. So what is gonna come in here is the entertainment center that's in the family room right now at our last house will go in here. The coffee table that's in the uh, family room will go in here. And then the sofa that's in the office playroom will go in here. And then we do have a small brown cost, um, kitchen table that we had at a previous place that's just been in the garage. So I think we're gonna set it up here and have that as like a homework station for the kids. So they can sit down, they can do their homework and everything will be good. 
We'll put Nevaeh's art desk right here in this corner. So we'll put some mats down so it's easy cleanup for her and all that will be good. So we do have two computers. I plan on putting the one up here and then one inside my office downstairs because my son's getting older, he's gonna be on the computer now. So then they can do their research, play their games. And this is kind of the little chill room for them. So this is a really good section for the kids just to hang out and relax. So now we go into mine and my husband's bedroom. And one of the things that we loved about this house once again was the master bedroom has this cute like little seating section um, in the master bedroom. So we'll go ahead and get like a cute sofa, a coffee table, maybe some chairs. So then we have like a little relax section inside here. And then this is like the bedroom part of it. Again, new carpet, paint, put up our chandelier in here. And it's pretty much a brand new room. So we'll go ahead and hang our drapes and everything. And that will take care of redoing this room. And then we come inside our bathroom. And everything needs to be redone in here, but it's okay for right now. Um, so this will be my husband's side. We'll go ahead and replace the countertop, the new seat, new light fixture. My brother-in-law will come in, sand these down, and restain them for us. Um, we're undecided whether we want to keep the bathtub. We're not bathtub type of people. We love our huge shower that we have in the house over in Arizona. So we were thinking about tearing this all out and maybe extending the shower out and then over. So we walk into it the exact same way as our last shower is um, to kind of make this a little bit bigger. So that's something that we're just kind of toying around with. This is my sink area. So again, all new flooring. This will all be brand new. And then I do have a little vanity section right over here, which will just be redone. Um, we'll go ahead and get a cute little mirror, new lights, new countertop. And this was actually a must have. My husband has always wanted for me is a little vanity section to sit down and do my makeup. So now we go into the closet. It's not that big of a closet, but I like the fact that they have some built-ins. Again, they didn't patch this up, so we will go ahead and do all the patching, repaint it all and everything. Um, but it does have built-in drawers, which is awesome. So I feel like they did great with the spacing of it all. Um, so we will go ahead and change out if we want to or if we need to some things, but for the most part, everything is pretty good, especially for the closet size. So it's not huge or anything, but it would do. I think it's about the same size as our last closet, to be honest with you. So everything will fit and that's all that matters. So that is pretty much it for the house tour. There is a casita that is attached, but has its own entry. Um, in the back of the house, but it's just a bedroom and bathroom, which we're gonna turn into like a chill teen room when we're outside barbecuing and just hanging out that the kids can go in there and hang out with their cousins and stuff. So that's a big plan for that. Other than that, that is it. There's gonna be a lot of remodeling and stuff going on, but that is something that we have always wanted to do. So we're really excited. It'll probably take us a year, year and a half, two years to get it all done but baby steps and we're okay with it. So let me know down below what you guys like about it the most. So there's a lot of little things that we love. So that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this empty house tour and expect a lot more comments for you. Once we have our furniture in, I'll kind of do like another little update on how the furniture looks and maybe our flooring update, I don't know. So we have a flooring guy coming today to kind of give us a quote to see if we can go ahead and get moving on that. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.